Hello again. So I'm closing off this understanding polynomial graphs. Um, we're going to do zeros pretty soon, but I, I use p of x. You can use y or f of x or anything that you want. I probably didn't phrase it in the last lesson, but I know I've been saying it before. Um, I've got two examples. I've got x, negative x to the fourth plus blah, 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 blah. I don't know what it's going to be uh, because I'm just drawing a graph, and, you know, whatever. p of x equals x to the fifth plus blah, 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 blah. Again, I don't really know what it's going to be. But what I do know is that this is an odd, uh, sorry, not an odd, it's a negative function. It, it's, uh, it's negative because, well, the leading coefficient is negative or because uh, the right arrow is pointing down. Now, it's even because it's x to the fourth. Uh, don't get uh, negative and positive confused and don't get uh, even and odd confused. That, that, that's different. Even, yeah, an odd, you look at the degree, um, Positive and negative, you look at the leading coefficient. So the leading co if it's negative, the right arrow will point down. If it's positive, the right arrow will point up. Now, if it's an even function or an even polynomial, both arrows will point in the same direction. They'll either point up or they'll point down. And that's what this one does. They both point down, and the right arrow happens to point down too. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is that there's one, two, three, four zeros. And they're all actually real roots. Uh, if it didn't cross at four times, then there would be some sort of imaginary root encompassed in there. That's when we work with complex numbers, which is really cool. And we've already done that, actually. Uh, one, two, three, four. I could make an approximation, but to be honest, I don't know. I just kind of drew a graph arbitrarily. It's just trying to understand what's going on here. So it's got four zeros. None of them are repeating. Uh, they're all real. Uh, when we learn to find zeros, that will be fascinating. And it's a negative function, and it's even because both arrows are pointing the same direction. This one is odd, because you look at the degree, or because both arrows are pointing in opposite directions. It's positive, because the right arrow is pointing upwards. It has one real root, or one uh, real zero, I suppose, or zero. Uh, and it's got four imaginary uh, roots there. Um, you know, and somebody once asked me, or as a student, says, well, that doesn't make sense that it's imaginary. Oh, but it does, actually. Because if, uh, once you find this root, if you want to figure out how to get x, the other x to the fourth, you have to figure, it has to be encompassed with some sort of imaginary root. Otherwise, when it multiplies together, it won't be x to the fifth plus whatever this particular function is. Um, again, that's a little difficult for some students to buy. But the more uh, you get involved in this stuff, the more you start to really understand what's going on, it's pretty cool. And that's what this basically is, just a you know, general introduction to trying to buy into it. So that's pretty much it, you know, I only did first through fifth, sixth through whatever, all those other functions you could draw to. I'm not going to because I'm just trying to get a good point across. Hopefully it's a good point across. Uh, with that said, have a great day.